Okay, hello economics students. Uh, in this video, we are looking at our second macroeconomic goal. It's the goal of full employment. Now, no prizes for guessing that this goal is all to do with jobs in an economy. And you may be thinking, well, we want to have as many people employed as we possibly can. And you would be right because we're trying to maximize our living standards and having a job is the key to improving living standards. However, the goal states that we want to achieve the lowest unemployment rate. Now, the unemployment rate is just the percentage of people who want a job that do not have a job, just to refresh from year 11. So we want to have the lowest rate of unemployment, but we want it to be the lowest rate that does not cause excessive inflationary pressures. And a bit like strong and sustainable growth, we need to balance those two things out. Uh, we measure this using what is called the NIRU down here, the NIRU. And this is the non-accelerating inflation rate, inflationary rate of unemployment. Thanks economists for that one. Just try and think of the island, uh, the Australian island, NIRU. This is this NIRU measure or this target is a bit of a moving goalpost and economists have argued about the relationship between unemployment and inflation for a long time. The idea is that a low unemployment rate will put pressure on wages because firms will have to pay higher wages to attract workers in an economy that has a low unemployment rate. Yeah, there's not a lot of spare labor just sitting around waiting to get a job. Uh, so that everyone or most people have a job in order to encourage people to leave their current job and come and work for a new business, they have to pay them more. They have to incentivize them to leave by higher pay. Now, when people have higher wages, they spend more money and this creates inflation. Now, if you want to look deeper into this, it's called, you could Google the Phillips curve, but for VCE economics purposes, we just need to know that the target of Nairu is about 4% or most recently, the treasury has stated that it's four, they believe it's 4.25%. This is the lowest rate of unemployment that we can sustain in the Australian economy, given the current conditions without creating excessive inflationary pressure. And that's the unemployment rate that we're gonna target, 4.25%. Uh, now, in the next video, we're gonna do some more calculations on how we measure unemployment, but for now, you can just think of that as 4.25% uh, would be if we had 100 people in our economy and they all wanted a job, or we had 100 people who wanted a job and we looked at how many people want a job but don't have one, and we found that there was 4.25 people who didn't have a job but wanted one, well, as a percentage, that would be 4.25%. And ta-da, that's our Nairu unemployment rate. Um, one other thing is some textbooks will call this the natural rate of unemployment. And for VCE purposes, we're just gonna assume that the natural rate of, un of unemployment and the Nairu are exactly the same thing. They're the same target of 4.25%. All right, bye for now.